Yeah, I thought I'd shoot a <clears throat> quick little video here. Uh, this piston <clears throat> is off the uh, 268. Uh, here's the cylinder for it. Now, I went out and got some uh, uh, some bore gauges. Harbor Freight's got these for about, I don't know, it was, it was just under 20 bucks for a set. Um, they go up, I think all the way to six inches from, um, five sixteenths. So, I mean, ultimately the best thing to have, if you're going to be checking is, is to have, uh, a dial bore gauge, which should probably run you about a hundred bucks, give or take, maybe a little more. Um, but this is kind of like the next best thing. It's, it kind of works here. You have a release there. Uh, you put it in. And there's a feel to it. You got to, you know, you got to develop a feel on how to use the tool and how to take accurate measurements. And it, it, it's, you know, just some practice. But put the time in, you'll, you'll figure it out. No. Um so the, the interesting thing uh, <clears throat> was, like I said in the other video, I, this, this, is a, this is a 268 with the uh, open port design. This, the, the, these, I mean, I, you could make them more powerful, but it, it, it's kind of a, you know, a, a meager performance uh, cylinder to begin with. So... I actually had emailed uh, <clears throat> Harv over there, uh, uh, and uh, he, he emailed me back and he said, you know, Meteor Piston with OEM cylinder, which, okay. I, I was going to do it, and I thought about it, and I said, you know what? I'm going to go with the, uh, with the 272 kit. But that's not what this video is about. I got off on a tangent there. Uh, this is a piston from the 268, and this is an 064 piston. And, and the, the reason why I want to put this up is I, I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, this this piston here, here's your exhaust port going this way. It's just slightly oval. So if you're looking at it from the top, it's not round. It's actually a little bit different, which is how they're supposed to be made. But... Uh, when you get down to the, the skirts, when you're looking at it this way, you got 1.956 up here, 1.965, so it's actually coming out. I know it's kind of a crude drawing, but I, I wanted to just kind of give a visual representation here. And then down at the skirts, you know, a little bit off the skirts, there you got 1.956. I don't know... Let me let me see if this will show. You might be able to see it. Let me just see if I can hold it up to the camera. Maybe you can see uh, how she. If I get it up against the background here, nah, you can't really tell. Yeah, you can't. You can't get a good enough uh, focus on it. No. Nope. You can't tell from here. If you if you get up real close to it in the light, you can actually see it with your eye. Just barely. Okay? So that <clears throat> that tells me that, the, you know, this thing, and it's got scratches in it and whatnot. I mean, it's, there, look, look at that. Let me see, show you the intake side here. I mean, that, hang on a second here. There's a couple scratches in it. See that one right there? I mean, you could reuse it, but I mean, th th this thing is, this thing's got some miles on it, baby. I mean, there are no machine marks anywhere on this whole piston. Okay, that's how you know that they've been used. Uh, <clears throat> so that that's the shape. And then over here, 
we have an 064 piston. Uh, the, the dimensions are a little bigger, but it's basically the same thing. It's 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 not actually round, okay. But this piston on the top is uh, measures out to 2.038. Off the pin, you got 2.043, and the skirts 2.04. And a half, or I would just put 2.045. So it, it actually, if you look at the drawing here, this actually tapers out. So that's that's this piston and this piston. Now I would say you could reuse this piston. This one here, you know, put in a new piston. The whole thing is, uh, like I said, I don't know a whole heck of a lot about these Husqvarna's. But I'm learning. I'm, I'm reading. That's that's the thing. You, you read a lot, you pick it up. And there's a lot of good information out there. There's a lot of people out there that are sharing things, which is cool. But uh, this cylinder, like I said earlier, uh, you know, I just, uh, I mean, apparently, correct me if I'm wrong, but apparently this came out of a chop saw or something. So it's not a it's not really designed for perform. It probably run forever, you know, like you see here with this piston. <laughs> but you're not gonna get. You can get performance out of it, but you go up to a 272. Uh, you're getting a brand new piston, brand new cylinder. Now you you get a new meteor piston. Uh, I don't know what they are, 30, 40, 50 bucks. If you get the whole kit, you get the cylinder, the piston, the rings, clip. Um, I always. Use the OEM circlips and uh, needle bearing and everything. And make sure you fit everything together. And uh, for, the, for the price, it really wasn't that much more. I mean, it was more. But to get the whole, whole thing, rather than put a meteor in this piston for something that I want to have a little zip to. So I'd, I'd rather start with a, a better platform uh, to begin with to, to get more power. And I think the 272 uh, on this bottom end with the right carburetor intake. Like I said, there's going to be, a, for me, it's a, a, lot, a lot of plenty. Now, if this was a steel that I did before, big bang, boom. You know, I can knock it right out. But this is something you got to play around with. Now, one thing I do want to say about uh, uh, Husqvarna. Um, now this, this is, I have four Husqvarna saws now. Okay. So I've got the five, uh, <clears throat> 95, or excuse me, the three ninety five. I've got the five seventy two XP. I've got this, uh, two sixty eight. I don't know I if they called it a two sixty eight special, but it's got the, you know, the mediocre uh, cylinder in it, or at least what I consider mediocre. And then I've got the 268 SE, which was I was cutting with. And I'll tell you what, I, I now that I have the cylinder, well, this isn't a very good representation, but just working with the saw, it seems like you can get some uh, uh, decent performance out of these for, for, for not a whole hell, hell of a lot of, uh, you know, time here. Um, as in comparison to the steel, so, but I, yeah, I just thought this, this was interesting the way, you know, and, and if you look at this, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what it is, folks. That's the numbers. That's the way it looks. And that, that, that thing was probably run for, I don't know how many hours for it to get that wore out like that. Alrighty.